Boom! Big South Side, welcome to Sheriff David Clark. No, thank you. You know, something that Alderman Donovan touched on was very important to me when I served the people of Milwaukee County. I always reminded myself, sometimes I had to remind many of you that I work for you. You're the sovereign. And uh, representing democracy, the elected officials are not sovereign. I know that has been flipped around a little bit today where the elected officials, too many of them anyway, they think they're the sovereign and we should bow down to them. All right, and I always pointed that out. I love you folks. I love all of you. We love really you too. Yeah. I also want to give a shout out to the men and women in blue. Uh, several squads showed up here tonight, and we need to remind them, we need to remind each other that in America, blue lives matter. Now what this has always been about for me is freedom and liberty. And people have to defend freedom and liberty or it will be taken away. And I think we saw that a little over a year ago when this virus hit the shores of the United States and people seized that. Yes, the virus was real. And yes, it was, it could be fatal to people with compromised immune systems or the elderly, certain segments of the population. We did something in this country we have never done before. We have never quarantined healthy people. We have never locked down an entire country over a flu virus. So they took something that was real, the COVID, it failed to some, but keep in mind, this thing all the way through had a survival rate of 99.9% .9 of the people, you know, for people who got it, right? They survived it. And look what we did. Look what we allowed government to do, to crash the economy, to quarantine us in our homes, to lock us down with no due process and no probable cause. Stay in your house, we were told. Don't go anywhere especially over the holidays, don't travel. That was house arrest. And we allowed them to do that. And think of what we've been through from the days that this started. Remember, it was about flattening the curve. And they said, for about two weeks we need to do this. And if we all pull together, we'll get through this and we'll get things going again. And two weeks went by and guess what? It wasn't over. And I don't mean that the COVID wasn't over. The seizing upon our freedom and liberty wasn't over. And then we got into things like wearing masks, which remember, Fauci the fraud, Tony <laughs> Fauci the fraud, <laughs> on 60 Minutes. By the way, he doesn't treat patients. He's an over-credentialed bureaucrat is what he is. Yeah, he goes by the title of doctor. He doesn't treat patients. Yet he was giving information out to doctors and, and elected officials to make policy. He doesn't treat patients. He's the wrong person to get that information from. However, in the early days of this, Fauci the Fraud went on TV on 60 Minutes and said, there's no need for any healthy person to be wearing a mask. There's no need for everybody to run out and wear a mask. And then a couple months later, we saw Fauci sitting in a baseball park with no mask on and no social distancing yet. He was kept giving these elected officials to policymakers, well, you gotta do this. You gotta socially distance, you gotta wear the mask. Ladies and gentlemen, we know now, we know a lot more than we did in the early days of this. And what I learned this was never about science. This was never about medicine. This was about politics. Raw, unadulterated politics. Now here's the thing that kind of saddened me as I watched this, these, these freedoms and liberties taken away from us. And government has a tendency to do that in a time of crisis. They scare everybody to death 
and we're willing to just give our freedoms and liberties away. Why? Well, out of an abundance of caution we were hearing. Well, it's for the greater good we were hearing. I'll tell you what, I've never seen those two phrases in the Constitution of the United States. Out of an abundance of caution, these can be suspended. I've never seen it. Now, one of the things that saddened me, as I was saying, is that we so willingly gave in to that, out of fear, no doubt about it. But we gave up our freedom and liberty because we were scared. And who was it that said, those who would give up a little freedom for a little liberty deserve neither freedom nor liberty. There is no exception in the Constitution because of a novel virus. There just isn't. So we needed a balance. We didn't get a balance. We got steamrolled. And every time they told us to do something, we just went along with it. We acquiesced. Very little pushback. Some people did push back. We closed down businesses. Some of those businesses are not able to return and will never return. People lost their jobs. Schools closed. Mental health issues started to emerge, especially in our young people. Screenings, medical screenings were put off because hospitals were telling on the advice of Fauci, an unelected, over-credentialed bureaucrat, well, you can delay the screening. You don't need to do that. Now, we need to keep the hospital rooms open. The hospital rooms were empty. So now you see the, you know, the, the, when I say steamroll, you see the domino effect of some of those policies. And that's what I think about today. Because I don't feel free today. I feel free every time I wake up in the morning. Why? Because of the Constitution of the United States and my rights, which are God given until God takes them away. There has to be pushback. There has to be pushback. So let that be a reminder in the future. Never, ever, under any circumstances, be willing to give your rights away because somebody scared you into doing it. You know what this thing is? This is the symbol of subjugation. Surrender to the government is what every time I saw somebody worried, that person has surrendered to the government. And that's fine. If you wanted to, and if you want to wear it today, and then remember Fauci suggesting wear two masks? Three, four? You know, this is a face diaper. That's what it is, and that's what I refer to it as, a face diaper. Face tip off. The studies are out there. I'm not an epidemiologist and I'm not a medical doctor, but I've read a lot of the studies, the counter evidence that said these are useless in the spread of COVID. Thank you. But if you but if you went along with that, Fauci would say, well, oh, he's just a distraction. That doctor who treats patients, by the way, he's a distraction. Never, ever, I don't care what's going on. We did it after 9-11. We gave up freedoms that are still not given back to us today. You go to an airport, I'm not changing the subject, but here's what happens. In a period of crisis after 9-11, we were all afraid, right? That's a natural human tendency. And the government steps in and says, they're right, we can take their rights away. What came out of the 9-11 investigation? We found out the government fell asleep at the switch. Who had to pay the price? You and I, we go to an airport now, and the TSA checkpoints are like a booking room in a jail. Take everything out of your bag, take your shoes off, take your belt off, they go through your possessions without a warrant. That may have been okay in the month or so following 9-11. It's not okay today, but what do we do? We just do it. Why? We want to get on the airplane, and I get it. But that's why I'm reminding you today, never, especially in a period of crisis, get your wits about it. Do not give up your freedoms out of an abundance of caution. Do not give up your freedoms for the greater good. Don't give up your freedom and liberty for 
anything, ladies and gentlemen. God bless you. Thanks for coming out today. And may God continue to bless the United States of America. Thanks. Peace. Peace.